Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Banggood Tool Review. This time I'm going to be doing a review on an AR32 collet chuck. I think you make one or two things perfectly clear before I get started. Uh, the first thing is Banggood do up near collet chucks. Banggood import them from China. The second thing is this has been sent to me completely free of charge to do with whatever I want. The third thing is I'll put a link up in the description box in the video. If you click the link, have a look at the chucks, you decide to buy one, I do get a very small commission from Banggood. I won't be able to retire, but it does help us run the shop and make better videos. There's nothing underhanded here. What you see is exactly what you get. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. This is the color chuck Banggood of centers. It's an ER32 and it's on a number two most taper with a tang on. I purposely wanted this particular chuck so I can use it for cutting threads from the tail stock of my lathe. If you watch any of my videos you'll see when I do any thread cutting, heavy thread cutting, I use this in the tail stock to hold the tap. I've had problems with tap spinning even in quality Jacobs chucks but this seems to get a much better hold. Unfortunately my tail stock on my lathe is three more taper so I need to use an adapter from this tool to take it up to three. What I intend doing, I'm going to put this into the tail stock obviously and we'll use it to actually use the thing to do the whole job. Uh, we can put a centre drill in here, a tap and drill, then I'm going to put a tap through some steel bar, a big tap, probably a 16 or a 20 mil tap, make it do a little bit of work. Then later on, I'll put this in the headstock and try and clock it up and see what sort of runouts on it. I haven't actually tested it for runout because I've just been using it for drilling in the tail stock, but seeing that, it does seem to put holes in the middle of whatever it's drilling. Right, I've got a number two most tapered adapter there, that goes into there. We'll put it in the tailstock, put some drills in, and have a bit of play with it. These are the AR32 spring collets. These are not the cheapest collets you can buy, but they're all the most expensive. They're like a mid range quality collet, as various types you can get. I'm going to put a centre drill in here first just to just to use a chuck really. That's actually a bang good tool as well. I do use them all the time. This is just a piece of bright steel bar, it's nothing special. Just to keep things in the family, that's a bang good drill as well. I'm going to put an M16 thread in there, M16 by 2, and the tap and drill for that is 14mm. Slow things down a fair bit here. Right, this is going to be the, the true test of the grip and power of the chuck. That's cut the full depth thread and there's no sign of that slipping at all. Yeah. 
inverted back out. Right, so we've got a nice full depth thread there. And that's basically all I use a truck for. It lives in the tailstock of the lathe for drilling and especially for holding fairly large taps because it can transmit a lot more torque than an ordinary drill chuck will. Right, I've set the collar chuck up in the headstock of my Harrison lathe. So I've got an adapter there which goes from the Harrison taper to number 3 mos taper. I've got a 3 mos taper which goes down to the 2 mos taper on the chuck. I've cleaned everything, I've put it together as best I can. You're bound to get run out in you know, all of this. I mean it's sticking out from there a good 4 or 5 inches. I'll put a clock gauge on here and see how accurate it actually runs. To start it up. It looks like it's running through. It's not obviously pissed and wobbling about. The lock ring is, but the lock rings always do. I must admit, I'm pleasantly surprised with that. I was expecting a lot more. One thousand, not bad for something for what it is. Cheap Chinese tooling. I'm sure you'll agree that the chuck did everything it's supposed to do. Um, when I set it up in the headstock of the lathe for an accuracy test, I was very surprised how accurate it ran within thou, thou and a half. I did spend a lot of time cleaning the tape, but to make sure it was nice and clean, but basically that's the result I got. Uh, don't forget, if you click on the link, have a look. If you buy one, I do get a small commission, um, which basically helps me run the shop, make better videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.